the linear and nonlinear refers to the system that describes the physics of the of the the craft, right? So it almost sounds like your model changes at some inflection point. Yeah, and and we we have tricks to try to come up, try to solve these models, right? You can linearize the system. That's a common trick in mathematics um, that you can leverage. Some systems, you know, respond linearly for a very narrow set of conditions, and then as soon as you deviate from that, you're in trouble. It's linearized within those parameters. And the perfect example of that is an airplane yeah. autopilot. Interesting. Okay, Airplanes are very easy to control in cruise conditions, right? Steady, level flight. Airplane responds beautifully to linear type inputs. If you stall, <laughs> there is no autopilot to control you at that point. There, the, the math is not linear, or it does not respond linearly to your inputs. And so a great that's example of a nonlinear system is an airplane that's in a, what do they call it? An airplane that has deviated from controlled flight. Deviated from controlled that's flight. That's the politically correct it's way of euphemism. saying stall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, that would be an example of a good, you know, difficult to control system. Now, deviated from control. There's probably I'm not an autopilot guy. Yeah. There's probably a good amount of money you could make if you came up with an autopilot that worked in stall conditions, but interesting. They might have that on the military side, I wouldn't know. Um, it, it probably exists, I would think if it's the it target, might. right? Like I know that in the commercial side, one of the first things that pilots learn in flight school is to shut off the autopilot when anything goes wrong. <laughs> and that tells you everything you need to know about the civilian market for plane autopilots, right? <laughs> There's a reason they say to do that. <laughs>